Our next question is question number 58. For the reversible reaction N2 plus 3H2 product 2 NH3 plus heat. The equilibrium shifts in forward direction. The first option is by increasing the concentration of ammonia. Second option by decreasing the pressure. Third option by decreasing the concentration of nitrogen and hydrogen. Fourth option is by increasing pressure and decreasing temperature. So in this question a reversible reaction is given and it is formation of ammonia. Now in this reaction it is mentioned that heat is evolved. It means the forward reaction is exothermic reaction. And if forward reaction is exothermic, then backward reaction becomes endothermic reaction. Now what will be the suitable condition for the formation of ammonia? We have to decide. Here we need to apply the Lee-Chatelier principle. And according to Lee-Chatelier principle, exothermic reactions are favored by low temperature. So first the thing first thing should be temperature should be low. The another parameter is pressure. Now according to Lee Chatelier principle increase in pressure decreases the volume. So equilibrium it shifts in that direction where number of moles decreases. It means the proper or appropriate condition for shifting the equilibrium to forward direction should be high pressure and low temperature. Now you can see that in fourth option it is mentioned that increasing pressure and decreasing temperature. So correct option is fourth option pressure should be high and temperature should be low. Our next question is question number 59. For the reaction X2O4 liquid product 2XO2 gaseous delta U is 2.1 kilocalorie delta S is 20 calorie per Kelvin at 300 Kelvin hence delta G is first option is given 2.7 kilocalorie second option minus 2.7 kilocalorie Third option 9.3 kilocalorie and fourth option is minus 9.3 kilocalorie. In this question we have to calculate delta G and delta G is equal to delta H minus T delta S. So in this question we need two parameter enthalpy change and entropy change. Now see in this question entropy change is given but delta H is not given instead of delta H here the given value is of delta U which is internal energy change. So first of all we have to calculate delta H using the relationship delta H is equal to delta U plus delta N G R T. Now in this question value of delta U is given 2.1 kilocalorie. Here delta Ng is number of moles of gaseous product minus number of moles of gaseous reactant. In this question product is 2 mole gaseous product while react inside the substance is liquid. So value of delta N becomes 2. R we have to take this value in kilocalorie. R is 2 calorie. So this is 2 into 10 raised to power minus 3 kilocalorie. And in this question temperature is given 300 Kelvin. So put the value of temperature as 300 Kelvin. Now if we solve this the value is coming 2.1 plus 4 into 3 into 10 raised to power minus 1 or it is 2.1 plus 1.2 which is equal to 3.3 .3 calorie. 
so when we calculate delta h after then put the value of delta h in this equation so here delta h taken is 3.3 calorie minus t is temperature which is given here 300 and entropy change is given 20 calorie again we have to convert this value into kilo calorie if we solve it delta g is coming out minus 2.7 kilo calorie so the correct option must have numeral value minus 2.7 kilo calorie and that option is second option so here the correct answer is second option